Hi everyone, this is Harry Karanasos from the Foundry of Ideas. This video is part of a series on woodworking tools and projects in which I try to provide the answers you may be looking for. Approximately 11 years ago, Mr. William Eng published a video under the title Five Cuts to a Perfect Cross-Cut Sled. In it, he showed how to proceed in order to set the fence of a cross-cut sled at 90 degrees to the line cut by the blade of a table saw. Since then, this method has become the most accurate way, in my opinion, to accomplish this exercise. His video over the years has attracted over two and a half million views. The present video is, in a way, a follow-up to my recent video entitled Perseus. A link is given in the description. As a recapitulation, I shall perform the following. Number one, a five cut method cut. Number two, a cut using the sliding gauge on top of the fence of the sled. Number three, a mitre cut using the angle gauge tool. I have also prepared a report in which I'm trying to demonstrate how and why the five cuts method works. There is no heavy duty math or geometry involved in my report. So I trust that the viewer will have no problem in following my narrative. I have supplemented the text with diagrams and photos in the hope that these will make my explanations quite clear. In the description of this video, I have provided a link to my report. Anyone who wishes to have a copy may use this link to access the file and make a download of it. Right, before we start, I will remove the mitre gauge. As you can see, this is very easy to do. So with three bolts removed, we can now remove the mitre gauge. I shall also shift this clamp away. And as a, an extra step here, we have to put our numbers one, two, three, and four. Let me make sure that we don't have any debris here. And also, let me make sure that this is free of any cuts. Now, We 
we are ready and I suggest you close your ears. So here is my reading for A, Seventeen seventy two. The length of the fifth cut is Nineteen three five, and the distance between the pivot point and the point of the adjustment is fifty three. So A minus B is seventeen ninety seven minus seventeen point seven two equals point twenty five. Point twenty five divide point twenty five by four point zero oh six two point zero oh six two five and divide this by the length nineteen thirty five divide by nineteen point three five point O O three two three I'm rounding 
Okay. And now I have to multiply this by 53, which is the distance between the pivot point and the adjustment point by 53 equal point 0.171. So it's one tenth. If we round it, two tenths of a millimeter and two tenths of a millimeter. Uh, let me very quickly call it point 18. Therefore, this is point 18 divided by 25.4. So this is divided by 25.4 is equal with point 0067. So call it 007 of an inch. So we are talking about an extremely small quantity. Here we are. Here's my calculation, 0 0.007. So we have completed our uh, fifth cut. And the next point in our exercise will be to, to do a cut using the sliding gauge on top of the fence of the sled. So we are talking about uh, the slider over here. I shall adjust the camera for you to see what I am talking about. Let me remove this for a moment. Right. This is our slider. This is the control console of the slider. And basically what I'm going to do is I am going to zero it and then cut a piece to see how far this agrees with my calipers. So let me raise the I am here and I am Bring the slider. I'm here. I set so I'm going to set this to zero and I will cut a piece and see how we agree with the caliper and with this reading. So let me say I move this 
I have here I will arrange it for seven centimeters So my reading here is seven zero zero three. So I'm going to put this piece here. So we said seven point zero zero three. Let me write it down. Seven point zero zero three. And with my calipers, I have sixty nine. Can see sixty nine sixty three. Yes, sixty nine sixty three. Sixty nine six three. And our difference here is seven point zero zero three. Minus six point nine six three is point zero four, which I think is adequately accurate. Now, as a last part of our exercise, I shall take. a piece of board and cut it with our mitre angle gauge. But before I do that, of course, I have to install our mitre angle gauge. As you can see, at the end here, I have uh, applied two strips of uh, ultra high molecular weight tape. Right. Bear with me whilst I am installing the gauge.
Right. I'm trying to look and find something a little bit wider than what I have here. I think this is good. And before I go any further, I shall come back here turn the gauge on so my gauge is zero now I shall bring it to 45 and I am tightening this at 45 just to ensure that there are no deviations because tightening it here is one thing but because of the length of that we have quite a bit of a moment here so what I will do is I'll try to place a small clamp and see if I can catch the end of the mitre. I don't think so. I'll get a bigger clamp. In fact, I will do something else which is a bit more clever. I shall check to see that this is fully tangential and it is from what I can see. Okay. Right, so disengage the clamp, here we are, and here is my test piece, and as you can see, we are 100% let me put some, a stopper here and bring them both together. We are 100% the same, 45 degree cut. So, we have done all our tests and you have witnessed that the accuracy of the sled is quite superb. I am very pleased and therefore this is the sled that I will be using whenever I need to make very accurate cuts. Let me
turn this off so my console is off I am zeroing this and I am unscrewing untightening this I am back to base and I am at zero and I tighten right I hope that you found this demonstration of interest and of course as always if you have any questions or any comments I shall be very happy to entertain them. Thank you very much for watching my presentation. I do hope that you have found my video informative and useful. If you enjoyed my video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. I do hope to see you in my next video. Stay safe, healthy and happy. Bye bye for now.